Good evening. I want to take a couple of moments and talk to you about this multimeter. This is a very nice multimeter. It's one of the more capable ones that I've used. And I wanted to just go through a couple of the features. Rather than go through an exhaustive explanation of all the different features on this, I just want to demonstrate a couple of things about it. If you are shopping for a multimeter, you likely already know how one of these works. So, let me zoom in on the dial. You will see. Rather than have it auto detect the ranges, it's got graduated ranges. Here is for DC. I can go to 200 millivolts, 2 volts, 20, 200, and 1,000. My concern when I first saw this was what will it do if I try and give it a power source that is greater? Is it smart enough to um, compensate for that and, pre and prevent itself from being damaged? And the answer is yes, and I'm going to demonstrate that in a few moments. You can see that it does voltage, DC voltage, AC voltage. It's got currents. It's got resistance. You can test diodes. You can also test transistors here. One of the really nice features is it's got a really nice on-off button versus having to set it at a certain place on the dial. So I'm going to zoom back out a little bit. Oops, went the wrong way, sorry. I like the fact that it's got a little stand on the back so that you can actually set it up and see what you're doing without having to hold it the whole time at an angle. You can actually uh, set it up so that you can have it elevated while you work. So I have it set right now for 200 millivolts DC. When I turn it on, notice the nice large display. I like that. So I have a rechargeable AAA battery. Typically these hold about one and a quarter volts. So I would expect at 200 millivolts to pass up the, um, that's the battery is greater than that. So let's see, what does it do? Just gives me a one. That's its error message saying that's too big. So I'm going to zoom in a little more. And I'm going to change it to two volts. Now when we do it, oops, come on now. Sorry, I'm having a problem holding it steady. There we go. So you can see it's at 1.37. I'm going to turn it around and wire it up backwards, and you will see it gives you negative volts. And that'll tell you that you put the leads on backwards if you're not used to working with one of these. So, again, I've got one of these nice 16850 batteries, and typically those are 3.7 volts, and right now I have it set for 2. So when I connect it, it goes back and gives me a 1 again. And I've set it to 20, and you can see right here when I changed it, went from 2 to 20, and it can go up to 200, go up higher, and it gives me high voltage. So I want it on 20. This one needs to, no, it doesn't. That is about perfect. Unfortunately, it's kind of hard to see because of the shadow. So let me tilt this just a little bit so you can see the top. Now it should be obvious. So it is reading the battery correctly. Great. I'm not going to go through showing resistance or current because it works in a similar way. I don't have any diodes to test, and I don't have any transistors to test either. There's only one real negative that I have found, 
and this is a matter of being careful. The leads are really, really sharp. And I was able to cut myself on one of these by not being careful. You can lift these so that when you're transporting, you don't end up lancing yourself. You come down like that, and you have a nice point. And these can come right off, and now you have a big lead. But overall, just be a little careful because the tips are quite sharp. It does come with a simple manual. The manual is straightforward. It's not a great big manual, but it's enough that it will tell you how to operate your meter. And this is not a particularly expensive meter for all you get. Um, it works well. I haven't had any problems with it. I've been very pleased with it. It is definitely more affordable than the most popular brand, which would cost several hundred dollars compared to this one. So I would recommend this if you are looking for a meter that works well and you don't want to break your bank. Um, it is very easy to use, very straightforward, and there are some safety mechanisms in place so that you don't overload it. Nice meter, happy to recommend it.